This was a absolute inferno and the smoke and conditions were unbelievable. We had fire and ash and sparks, uh, embers blowing across the roads and we still had public in the zone evacuating. So, you know, we wanted to get in and let them get out. I mean, it must have been very, very terrifying for them. Uh, and we just went into action right away. When we arrived, we were allocated to uh, staging and we created a staging area. So that was where we started to work with uh, Wood Buffalo and get a staging area set up. And uh, quite quickly realized, you know, when we uh, got the sense of magnitude, we divided out into a north sector and a south sector. And we worked directly with Regional Operations, uh, Emergency Operations Centre for strategy on how they wanted to combat the fire. We got the strategy level uh, decisions from our fire uh, operations sector command and once we got those strategies that's where we built uh, the tactical plans on the north sector and the south sector and we began to action those fires and you know during the evening and the next day we were sending out crews to uh, structure fires at three and four rigs at a time to house fires into areas we had no water so we had to attach a water uh, tanker with them to go out to fight those fires. Everything happened, hours happened within minutes, uh, a day went by within an hour it felt like we would look up at the clock and we would be already past midday and we were so uh, overloaded with uh, sending resources out and those crews would come back in and we'd really want them to stop and get time to, to rest and reha rehab and, and take a break and they couldn't. They would be sent right back out again. We had crews that had put in phenomenal amount of hours and, and in direct combat. They did not stop firefighting at, at any second of the day for th two, three days. And we fought fire on every front in that city. So, you know, there was so much going on in the background. People may not realize about what it takes to bring somebody in from another community and just integrate them into a fire system and have a full force available on the ground. It was incredible work done by everybody involved.